What's up, YouTube? It's your man, Big B Production 100. I have an awesome video for you guys tonight. Tonight in this short video, I'll be showing you guys of how you can adjust your EQ sound inside iTunes for a personal basis. Let's open up my iTunes here. Now that I have it open like so, you should have yours up and running as well. Now, I know it's been a ton of times that this may have happened to you, not just myself, when you may be listening to a song with a lot of bass in it, and then you might switch to another track Let's just say R&B, and then you might switch to another track that may be jazz or gospel or whatever, you know, you like to listen to. Well, I know you get tired of going back and forth, back and forth from changing the sound, you know, just for the different songs that you'd like to listen to. Or in some cases, you might just set it for, let's just say, rock and listen to all your music like that. But I'm here to show you guys that you don't have to do that. Side iTunes 11, which I'm pretty sure you guys are running by now. You can actually set what you like for each track. So last night I was listening to my for real. Here, and you'll see that for number four, I have that set to piano. And for number five, I have set for treble booster and so on. So if I wanted to listen to, let's just say some bone here, I can switch it like so. OK, so what you have to do is inside iTunes, if you have your setup as album or artist, you know, just switch it. To songs up at the top now once you have that done come up to where it says view now go down to where it says show view options now you should be presented with this drop down box here we're gonna just close some of these out so you can see everything a little bit better here okay now I want you to come down to where it says equalizer yours might be unchecked so just check it once you check it you should have your little boxes on the side of your songs like so. So once you have found a song that you listen to a lot, you know, just select which one you like, whether if it's jazz, hip hop. I'm just going to set this for, okay, that's Rick James. I'm going to set that to, I guess, rock. Uh, no, that would be something like pop, I guess. Well, I'll set it for pop. Now, once you do that, iTunes will remember your settings. So if you close down iTunes and you go back in there, Whenever you listen to that Rick James song, which is big time, it's going to automatically set to pop. Then whenever you switch back to your Pharrell or your R. Kelly or whoever it is, it's going to go back to piano or treble booster. And it's going to do that for every song that you have selected your playback preference for. So that's like incredible. I know a lot of people that didn't know that iTunes 11 had that feature. But like I said, I'm here to show you guys that it does. So I really suggest that you guys give it a shot. And I would play a song just to let you hear that sound. But because of the copyright information and everything on YouTube, you know, I don't want to get in trouble and everything like that because I don't own the copyrights to these songs. So trust me, guys and females, when you go inside your iTunes tonight or whenever you get a chance to, you know, tweak it out, you're going to love it. You're going to love it because now you can just basically have your songs to just play the way you would want to listen to that song for that album. At that certain point in time. So, this is your man, Big B Production 100. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please rate, comment, and subscribe for my video. Give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video. I'll let you.